Good evening guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to check out an English pub called Robin Hood. Because the number one question in England is, how much is a beer in Thailand? How much? So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how much a Guinness is. I'm going to show you how much like a Heineken is. I'm going to show you how much a local Thai beer is. And is it any good? Does it feel like you're in England? I know you probably think, why do you want to go to an English pub, Mark? You're English. Well, I don't know. Let's go and check it out. Everybody loves to know the beer prices, right? Right, guys, so I've just got the drinks menu. Let's find out how much a beer costs in Bangkok in a British pub. The pub's called Robin Hood, by the way. So, uh, as and wait, you'd probably like this pub. So, happy hours, nine till seven. So I've just missed out on that, brilliant. And uh, let's have a look. So pints, yeah? So it's about £3.50 for a Leo, £3.50 for a Chang, £2.50 for a Singer, Heineken about £3.50, Carlsberg £3.50. There's no way I'm paying that for a Carlsberg. Carlsberg is horrible. Asahi £3.50, San Miguel £3.50, Guinness £7. 330 baht. Wow, okay. Guinness is £7.80. It's basically eight quid a pint. In England, a pint of Guinness is about £3.50, so it's well over double. And all the others are basically about one fifty. So let's check that out. So about, yeah, about three fifty. Most Most pints are about £3.50, but Sing, which is actually my favorite tire beer probably, £2.50, so £2.50 a pint in the capital city, can't really go wrong. Mm -hmm. Guinness, I said £7.80, Kilkenny £7.80, uh, German beer, Paul, Paul Elena, that's that's about about £8, Peroni, about yeah, about £7, Magna's about fiver. so yeah, that's, that's how much the beer costs in a in the Robin Hood pub in Bangkok. Whiskies and all that stuff, they've got whiskies, got bottled beers. It's a big old menu. Right, let's look at the happy hour prices. So, okay. So Guinness on happy hour, you get about a pound off. So yeah, it's not really that cheap. Happy hour, a Guinness is seven pound, yeah. So there you have it. The beer price. Let's go and grab one. I've been talking for too long now. Right, guys. I've gone for the cheapest beer. Not because I'm tight, but I do actually like sing. So yeah, let's try it out. Really good. Very, very nice. Totally different to um, bottled sing. It is actually really rare to get sing or singer on draft actually. Most bars in Thailand don't really do draft. It's uh, just all big bottles, small bottles, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, for £2.50, can't really complain. Because a big bottle in a bar is normally about 100 anyway, 100 baht, £2.50. And if you go to like one of these little girly bars or something, you're paying 120 baht for a small bottle. So yeah, this is way better value for money. Anyway, we're going to be checking out some street food around the back streets of uh, Prom Pong in a minute. So uh, yeah, we're going to finish up here and we're going to head down there. So uh, catch you in a bit. We're in the back streets of Prom Pong and we're trying out an Isan style restaurant. So in Thailand, I'm not sure if you know, they all drink ice in their beer. Which I know in England, if you did that, people would be going mental, wouldn't they? But it's good if you get used to it. <laughs> it's so hot out here, if you don't have the ice, it just gets warm within about two minutes. And it's quite refreshing actually. I mean, we put ice in cider, so why not put it in lager? What do you think? Leave a comment. Would you put ice in your beer? Or is that like a crime? 
the first two dishes have come. So we've got a papaya salad. We've got grilled pork neck. Mm. Oh, mate, that smells so nice. Look how juicy it looks. Right, guys, let's try the grilled pork neck. While it's hot, we've got this lovely little dipping sauce here, look. Not sure what the dip is. I think it's got some mint in there and some peanuts or chili. Mmm. Oh. That is so delicious. It tastes like pork loin. So all the way around the edge of the pork is that real delicious uh, fat, which I love. If you like pork loins, these are absolutely perfect. Look at that, look at the caramelization on that. In the dip. Mmm. Alloy mac mac. Right guys, so basically what this one is, it's fermented fish and crab. So the sauce there, that is called nam para, which is a fish sauce. And it's also got these lovely uh, tomatoes, it's got bean shoots, it's got peanuts, lots of chili in there. Let's get some chilies on there. All right, so let's try it. Really fresh. Fresh, salty, sour, spicy. Perfect balance of flavours, really. Then the tomatoes gives you like a bit more of a, uh, a juicy flavour. Mm. Let's go back in with some more pork. Right guys, so the final dish has come and this is a glass noodle salad with prawns. So yeah, good sized prawns, peanuts, coriander, onion, a little bit of squid in there, fresh tomatoes, good spices, onions, the whole shebang. So uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's get some salad, get some prawn, Let's get some coriander on there. Let's tuck in. Oh. Noodle cut in my hat. As you do. Right, let's hold this back now. Right, let's go for... Octopus, squid, coriander, and noodles. Let's suck in. Mm. Oh yeah. Nice big punch coriander in there. All the flavors, all the juices soaked into those noodles though. We had a papaya salad, the grilled pork, and a spicy noodle salad, and also a large Leo, a big one like this. It's like a pint and a half. And it comes to 300 baht, which is about $10. So what's that in English? About £6.50 for two people. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cheap. Once you get used to being out here, you don't think that's actually like super cheap. But if I just come here on holiday and went, wow, two people want a beer, like, you know, six pounds or whatever. As soon as you get used to the currency, you think, oh, it's 300 baht. I could go 7-Eleven and buy a whole, whole basket of stuff for that. Right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed the pub tour. Well, it weren't really a tour, I was just giving you the prices, but yeah, you know what I mean. 
it's a good question though, isn't it? Like, how much is a beer in Thailand? So anyway, that's an English pub. Obviously, that's not a typical Thai bar. But um, if you go to a bar that's full of girls and stuff, then you're probably going to be paying, like, I'd say, three quid in Bangkok for a small bottle. And then if you buy a girl a drink, which, you know, they're constantly asking you for drinks, um, they can be, like, four or five pound a drink. So, uh, yeah, it's not cheap if uh, you're out for a night in those situations. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you soon. Take care, Mr. Man.